because I like to go to thrift stores, people suggested that on my trips, I should stop in at thrift stores. So here's a little quick walkthrough of uh, St. Vincent's in Marquette, Michigan. It's actually a pretty large thrift store and they have a lot of stuff there. They got a lot of books. Thrift stores all seem to have a lot of books and old DVDs and stuff like that. But it, it's a good thrift store. I thought the prices were good. Lots of different things. If you need a tent there, you could pick up a tent. This one actually had a lot of furniture and the prices were decent and the furniture didn't look terrible. But if you know, you're looking for a cheap furniture, check out a thrift store. They did have a lot of kitchen stuff, which I was able to avoid. It's a problem of mine, but I was looking, but couldn't find a new wave mini. Every time I go to a thrift store, I look for a new wave mini, lots of clothes, stuff like that, you know, thrift store stuff. They had a lot of old vintage cameras, which I think is pretty cool. But then you stop and think, can you even find real film anymore? It's got to be tough to find. They had this camera, which is actually the very first real camera I had back when I took photography a little bit more seriously. Funny backstory, which most won't care about, but I got my first camera after taking a trip in the Boy Scouts. We went from Ohio all the way to Newfoundland and came back down the East Coast and we were in Boston and somebody broke into our truck and stole all the stuff. So I dislike Boston for a few reasons, not just the Red Sox, the knuckleheads in Boston. So all the Boston knuckleheads got was a bag full of dirty laundry and I ended up with a great camera. It's a simple camera, but you had to learn how to take pictures. And what was also cool is there was a local professional photographer that used to give me boatloads of blank film and said, just go take pictures of whatever you want. He liked my eye and he taught me a lot. And with this camera, I learned how to properly set up photographs and developing and all that good stuff. So in the long run, I guess I should thank the idiots of Boston. <laughs> I actually still have that camera tucked away in a box somewhere. Um, but I apologize for the long ramble and trip down my own memory lane. We'll go back to the thrift store stuff. Look, you can buy a sofa if you want one. Like I said, a lot of furniture and most of it looked in relatively decent shape and the prices at this St. Vinny's were very good. Look, something to make all the Michigan fans very sad. <laughs> I do my best not to uh, wear my Ohio State stuff up there. Look, blurry light bulbs. I take along two soft-sided cat carriers just in case I need them but the prices on these were actually pretty good. They had some of those perfect tortilla makers and again, pretty good prices. So all in all, I think this is a pretty good thrift store. If you're in the Marquette area, you should check it out. I was looking for a bicycle and this is the land of expensive treks. Everybody has a trek. And the only bike I saw was a kid's trek for 25 bucks. And if I lived here, I probably would have bought it to resell, but have a great and wonderful day. St. Vinny's is on uh, Presque Isle Drive in Marquette.